Oh, hey, hey guys. guys. <laughs> so we are going out on the town tonight. Um, yeah. I met someone on a Facebook group who lives in the city here, and she offered to go around and take us to some hidden spots. In exchange, we'll teach her some English. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, she should be here in a few minutes. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's like a first date. We're getting, yeah. little, getting a little nervy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. But yeah. No, it'll be cool. I'm, yeah. I'm excited. I've I've wanted to meet uh, some people that live here. I live in Vietnam, so um, I think it'll be really cool to yeah. to get her perspective. And this is what we're talking about: get new perspectives. So we're super pumped because she's gonna be here in a few minutes, and then she's gonna take us. Honestly, I don't know where she's gonna take us. <laughs> we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> the the message she sent said it's gonna be a culinary experience uh, yeah. with some flowers. With flowers, so, yeah. There you go. That's what we're gonna have tonight. Mm. Nice to meet you. I'm Brandy. Yeah. How are you? I'm Lim. Lim? Yeah. Nice to meet yeah. you, Lim. Okay, today we can go to the Holy Cage Street Food and uh, some famous pagoda and uh, around the Digit 5, Digit 10, and a uh, Bitcoin. Okay. Bitcoin coffee shop. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to a coffee shop and we're going to hit up District 5, yeah. District 10. Yes. Yeah, and just see the city, right? Yeah. Fun. Right. Yes. Awesome. How was Can't wait. Your day at just like that, we're off. We hopped on the back with these two wonderful people and headed off to our first destination. Hello, this is the uh, Quang Phật Pagoda. Why do you know this is the name Quang Phật Bidden? This is a place for the 1,000 Buddha space too in here. Okay. Oh. Now can you we go inside and see the pagoda? And this is the oldest pagoda. Oh, this in... is the one of the oldest pagoda in the Chinatown in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Ho Chi Minh. Now let's is... go and we can go around see. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> a pagoda in Vietnam is a place of worship for those practicing Buddhism. This particular pagoda had multiple floors, each one more beautiful and ornate than the last. The top floor of this pagoda was nothing short of spectacular. Originally, we understood Liam to say that there were 1,000 Buddha statues, when in fact there are 10,000 Buddha statues. The main central Buddha statue sits atop a lotus flower. Each petal of that lotus flower has its own miniature Buddha statue. This Buddhist pagoda is so aptly known House of a Thousand Buddhas because throughout the walls on the top floor there are quite literally a thousand Buddha statues. It's incredible to see. This is a wonderful experience and I'm incredibly grateful to be here. We mounted our iron steeds once more and we were off to our second stop, the Ho Thi Kai Markets. There was just one problem. We've lost the ladies. They're a little too slow. We jetted ahead. My man Liam here, an aggressive driver, and I like it. This is so hard to keep track of like, where you're at. Once we regrouped, we were there in no time. So we're here at the second largest uh, flower market here in the city. Uh, Liam was like, telling me, he was saying that the largest is actually in District so, like, 11, where he lives, that, um, and you cannot, he said it's so busy you cannot drive motorbikes through here. It's, it's fairly easy to navigate. It gets, it gets busy at night because a lot of the, um, the hotel industry will come and they'll buy all their flowers for their uh, bouquets and arrangements here at night, so from 9 to midnight. Uh, he said it's just, it's packed here, uh, and we're seeing that. It's not quite, it's not too, too busy here, but uh, uh, it, it, it's hustling and bustling, though. What do we got here, Boo? We have a lot of flowers. We got a lot of flowers. It's beautiful and it smells amazing. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, there's some peonies. Back there were some hydrangeas, which are my favorite flower. Um, yeah, full assortment. It's a whole street of uh, flowers that you can buy and, and get arrangements for, for other people. It's really cool. Right next door to the flower market is one of Ho Chi Minh City's most famously known open air food markets. This place was nothing short of spectacular, with tons of fresh seafood options and some pretty obscure options too. 
some of the most interesting choices are snails and a fertilized duck egg, which you'll hear us refer to as a baby duck. A baby duck. All right, this is a baby duck. And then we have egg and uh, shrimp. Squid with a kale egg. Shrimp with kale egg? Yeah. Quail egg. Quail egg. Quail egg, yes. And, no, it's good, it's good. And this is sausage with, with quail egg and cheese. And this is octopus with uh, quail egg. Okay. Yeah, well, that's why I want to try it. I've never tried it before, so I'm. Yeah. Okay. I'm going all in. I'm just gonna go big here. Maybe it does. <laughs> wow. It's good. It is good. Yeah, I like it. This meat is very good. It's very good. Yeah, I like that. Very good. It doesn't the so the the meat the baby duck itself it doesn't yeah. have very much flavor. I, all I taste mostly is the chili. Yeah. And the cilantro. In Vietnam, the, when the pregnant woman, uh, in the, the pregnant woman eats the baby duck inside every day. Yeah. Because, oh. Because the brain farm uh, talk with the, uh, the girl, mm -hmm. it's very good for uh, for the baby. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like a prenatal, uh, natural prenatal vitamin. Yeah. vitamin. <laughs> Did you eat one every day when you were pregnant? But when my baby wants one eat. Yeah. Uh, so you, have you ever had one? Oh, I They can eat, but a rarely time. Yeah. Okay. You got a chewy part there. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Lynn, Liam, and I finished up with the weird stuff. Right back up with B. She was ordering herself some fried chicken. All right. So that wraps up this food market street. Um, we had some pretty amazing awesome stuff there. We had the uh, baby duck in an egg. We had some snail. Uh, we also had some quail egg with different types of meat in them. Uh, Bea, of course, got herself some fried chicken. But now we're headed to a awesome coffee shop uh, that has a big, beautiful river filled with koi fish. And we're, we're excited to hit the town and, and uh, finish our night here with our new friends. Hey, guys. We made it to the cafe. Lynn, our guide. Uh, she brought us here. We're going to finish our night here at the cafe. Unfortunately, um, Liam had to go tend to the baby. Yeah, yeah he had to go home. Um, so we're missing him, but we're going to we're going to have one for him. Yeah. This place has got to be one of the coolest places that B and I have ever gotten caffeinated in. Sip your drink while the colorful koi fish splash and frolic around you. It was really cool to see the local kids get to play with the fish. We might have gotten splashed a few times ourselves. That wraps up our night. We had a great night exploring the city with you guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. Lynn, Liam, and their adorable son took us the long way home. We got to take in all the sights and sounds that Ho Chi Minh has to offer. Even when the rain started, it was no problem for these guys. We donned our ponchos like everybody else. Me, looking a little bit like E.T. We kept going. And they gave us truly a night in Ho Chi Minh City that B and I will never forget.